Yes, I'm aware that I have crosses all over my face. Actually, they're there to, to illustrate a point. Starting with this comment that I received by somebody named Dexter under a video that I made called, Christians, what if you're wrong? Dexter writes, my life wouldn't have been wasted for living a life of faith, hope, peace, happiness. I bend my knee and worship out of love, not fear, because I want to, not because I have to. If I'm wrong, my punishment is nothing. I'm dead or I go there anyway, as you say, and that's it. I would rather be wrong, though, and have lived a happy, purpose-filled life and be over total and it be over totally than be right in principle and suffer eternity. I will put in parentheses at the hand of, of his God. You have a lot more to lose than I in that respect. That's for sure. Okay, first of all, atheists can live a life of hope, peace, and happiness. Atheists do have hope, peace, and happiness when they're not being attacked or accused or treated as if they're horrible, evil people. So, the whole having hope, peace, and happiness, Christians do not have a monopoly on that. Other people of other faiths, or no faiths at all, as in the case of atheists, have hope, peace, and happiness too. So, sorry, but you can get that from other things besides belief in a false religion. I fail to understand how somebody can love a God who he admits will suffer will cause anybody who doesn't believe in him to suffer for eternity you can love a master like that interesting okay now i have something in my eye which is totally pissing me off okay so what's with the crosses on my face he's saying that christians have nothing to lose that, that they have less to lose than atheists i differ to i i <laughs> is that the right I don't agree. Let's just say I don't agree. I think that first of all, if there's a life after death, I don't think that it's going to have anything to do with Christianity or following the Christian God. I don't think Christianity is any more right than any other man-made religion. But let's examine what a Christian's life is all about versus a non-Christian's life. A non-Christian's life, or a non-religious person maybe, is about finding themselves, doing the best they can with every moment of every day, possibly making a difference with their hands or their heart, with their energy, making a positive difference for somebody. What, is it, what does a Christian do with their life? They spend it being Christians, being followers of Jesus, and not just followers of Jesus, but the right kind of followers of Jesus. They not only have one cross, so they have to, that's what they have to put out. They have to put out, that's what the cross is. They have to emulate a certain type, a certain ideal, a certain idea of what the ideal is. They have to be the embodiment of this thing. You know, you're expected to have a changed life when you, be, when you become a Christian. You're under a, mis a microscope by other Christians. If you do not have a changed life, other Christians will accuse you of not being a real Christian. So then you go around, you know, trying your best to, to walk, you know, be, be a real Christian as much as you can because you're supposed to be a certain way after you become a Christian. And God, this is really driving me crazy. I don't know what it is. It's probably wig hair. <laughs> Okay, I am really getting angry about this whole thing with my eye going on here. Okay, so not only do you have to put out there the cross, you know, put out there 
your token of religion. A lot of people wear crosses. Or they just have this idea of what a Christian is, and that's what they try to be. Uh, they go to church. Maybe they don't always want to go to church, but they go to church because, you know. Uh, or they just they just have to have this way of this this belief in certain things. You have to believe in certain things to be a, a true Christian. But then you have all these other denominations of Christianity that believe different things. So, you know, there's other crosses. There's other kinds of crosses. And and <laughs> I don't know how this is, if this is coming out right or wrong. I don't know. I don't know how this is coming across. My, my point is your, your brand of Christianity might not be the right brand. So, you know, you kind of have to keep in mind the other even though you know you're a real Christian, other Christians might not think you're real. You know, they might not agree that you're a real Christian, even when you're a Christian, and you do all the things that you know a Christian is supposed to do, and you feel all those things because you get yourself all worked up. Yeah, you know, you sing all those songs that get you all happy, and and you know, read the warm fuzzy verses that are so comforting and reassuring, and whatever you know but do people in your life while you're so busy being what people think you're supposed to be or what your idea of what you're supposed to be is you're so busy being that do you ever figure out who you really are do you ever really find yourself your real person you know you put all this energy into being this changed person this born-again person, this Christ-like person, walking the walk, not just talking the talk. Do you ever stop and figure out who you are as a person? Because, you know, I didn't. I didn't get to really start figuring myself out until after I put away the toy, which was, or my little security blanket, which was the religion, Christianity, the idea that I had this imaginary friend all the time. See, I think Christians lose out because they have this, they waste their whole lives putting out there what they think people want to see, putting out there what they think needs to be seen, you know, witnessing for this religion believing in something that, you know, they don't really have anything to show that it's real, but they have to believe in it to be a real Christian. They totally have to believe in it. They can't question it, because if they question it, then people put them under the microscope again. Hmm, might not be real Christian. Or maybe you're stumbling in your walk. You really need to have more faith. You're not praying enough. If you're stumbling, if you're questioning, you're not praying enough. You need to never question. Just walk along with the, you know... To me, that's a wasted life. That's a wasted life. And yeah, I think that Christians have a lot more to lose. Because when it's over and you're dead and buried, will you, in, your, in this one time that you have to live, will you have really discovered yourself? Will the person that is you have ever actually lived? Or will you have spent your whole life being this definition? of what you think in your head you're supposed to be to fit into the little box that is the religion. Is that what you've de dedicated your whole life to do? Or, or living your whole life for this belief that when you die, this thing is going to happen. And then when you die and you're dead and the thing never happens, what have you just done with your life? All that time that you've lived for that death and that wondrous thing that happens after you die. What have you done with your life that's now gone? See, I don't think that atheists have more to lose. I think we have less to lose by far and everything to gain. We live our lives discovering ourselves and putting our hands and our muscle and our hearts and our minds and our efforts and our thoughts into this one little life that we have now. Making the best of every day. Want well, to know why? Or one of the big reasons why I think I've gotten better over from this depression is the gradual realization that this is it. This is all. You know, I can wallow in self-pity and grief and blah blah blah, be paint myself out to be the victim for the rest of my life. Because when I die, there's going to be a happy place, and I'll be able to, or maybe, you know, 
in this other place I'll figure out myself and, and grow and finally get over the problems that I have in this life. Or I can, you know, say, good, I have so many years left. This is my one chance to figure myself out and maybe make a difference for somebody else. I'm going to put some effort into it. I'm not just going to sit on, on my ass on a pew and pray that something else does all the work or something else brings so-and-so into my life to make everything better. Instead, I'm going to maybe use my own determination and, and whatever, gumption, <laughs> sound like an old person, gumption to get off my ass and make make it make it right now make myself right so you know what okay I've been depressed you know I, I have a problem I'm gonna fight this problem I have a little happy light it's a little happy lamp that I bought yesterday I hasn't haven't quite felt the effects yet the happiness pouring out of me but a little happy light that's supposed to help people who have seasonal adjustment disorder which I believe is what SAD stands for and I'm pretty sure I have that problem so anyway this is what I'm this is what I thought when I saw that other person's you know you're walking around with a mask on and that's little crosses on my face I don't know what maybe possessed me to put you know I was like trying to imagine in my head what would I put on my face to you know it's like a mask you put all this on your on yourself this is People don't see you, they see the Christian. And when you walk into a room, people, you know, oh, there's the Christian. I mean, you have to play a role, you have to play a part. You're spending your life playing a part. What you think a Christian should be. And every time you feel happiness, you give gr you, you give all the credit to God and you, the fact that you're a Christian. I'm happy because I'm a Christian and Jesus is in my heart. That's That's what you give the credit to. You don't give credit to yourself. You don't give credit to the fact that maybe you worked really hard for that happiness. Or maybe something else like a sunny day or a happy lamp <laughs> made you happy. You know, everything is about Jesus. Everything that happens to you is about Jesus, is about the religion. Everything comes back to, well, you know, God, God was really with us today. You know, give God the credit, give God the glory. You know, so you're walking around, people see the cross, people see the religion, people see the Christian, but do they ever see you? You know, in this tiny little time, this little point of all eternity that you get to live, do you ever get to shine? Do you ever get to be seen? Do you ever get to discover who you are? Wipe the fucking mask off your face. You know, just get to live this one little moment. Atheists, I know this because I am one and I, ha I can see the difference in my life in the last 10 years. Well, I can see how I was eight years ago and how I am now. Atheists discover themselves every single day. They, they are constantly seeking understanding about the world, about who they are, what their role is, you know, the meaning of their life is something they don't search for. They just make. They invent it as they go along. Meaning, meaning to life is something that we make every single day. It's not something that we get to inherit. We don't get handed to us on a silver platter. We make it. Whether we have meaning to our lives or not is entirely up to us. And I see atheists working to find the meaning to their lives, to, to make it for themselves. Where Christians are just like, oh, if I didn't have God in my life, if I didn't have Jesus, if I didn't have this religion, my life would have no meaning whatsoever. I just might as well curl up and die. I would have no meaning. There would be no point in living without all this, you know, without God, without Christianity, without Jesus. I think that's sad. I think that's sad to be so dependent upon a religion. You know, what would it feel like to not have the fucking crosses in your life? The cross hanging from your neck. The cross to look up at, you know, when you're walking down the street and you look at the church, you know, you're focusing on that cross. You know, I don't look at crosses anymore. I find them annoying. I, I look at a cross now and I think, oh, you know, there's an instrument of execution. People worshiping an instrument 
of execution. You know, if Jesus had, this is a popular saying, but it's true. If Jesus had died, you know, in, in our time, probably would have died in something like a gas chamber or electric chair or lethal injection. Would we have little syringes around our, little little gold syringes around our necks or little little gold electric chairs around our necks? Because that's what the cross is. The cross represents, it, it, it symbolizes an instrument of execution. And what is Christianity about? What is What, are, what do the songs sing about? Okay, we've got the instrument of death as the symbol for this religion. And the songs sing about what? Being washed in the blood of the Lamb. Everything is about blood. Glorifying blood and death. What kind of... I'm sorry. I, I free myself from that. If I had a cloth, I'd be very symbolically wiping off every one of the crosses on my face. Because this is my chance for my rather plain, ordinary face to be seen. I don't need to have shit all over my face. I don't need to be pre pretending to be something I'm not or, or being pressured to be what people expect me to be because I believe in a certain thing. You know, I'm an atheist. People want me to th think atheist must be a bad person. Am I going out and making myself, putting my effort in being a bad person because that's what people expect atheists to be? No, because I know I'm not a bad person. And I don't have to pretend anymore. I can just be myself. And people can think whatever they want to. It no longer has any control over me. You know, it doesn't define who I am, what people think. So that's it. Not sure if this this is Thanksgiving. Not sure if uh, this is a stupid video. <laughs> I haven't done a video for a while. That that comment kind of got me revved a little bit. Stupid crosses look stupid. <laughs> but I just wanted to try something different, and you know, this is it. This is this is what I'm saying. Just people see the cross, they don't see you. There's something wrong. If if you look in the mirror and all you all you all you see is what you're trying to be. Oh, so-and-so, the perfect little Christian. It's a waste of life. It's a waste of your life. It's a waste of your precious time. You could be doing something really wonderful with your life and said you're following a false religion. You're following something that's fake. You, yourself, are being fake. The moment you're, you can go out there and shine and it's completely and totally because of your of understanding who you are and appreciating who you are and loving who you are you stop being fake and you start being real <laughs> and I feel stupid having crosses on my face so I'm going to end this video now <laughs> uh, I hope it makes some sense to somebody and and I hope people have a great Thanksgiving and I guess that's it so